Oh man, that's a dream come true, man. Like for me, that was like the biggest you can get, I guess. You know, because uh, all right, so in my eyes, like I met, like I was around Lil Wayne, Mike Tyson, and Durant. Like that's I could die now. Like go ahead and yeah, you know, I mean I can just jump off a cliff right now. Cause that's the biggest for me. That's the biggest you can get. Um, in my eyes, of course, in my eyes. So it was just like I said, a dream come true. This is the person like I watched. This this is like who I wanted to, like to become of course like somebody like Mike Tyson so beating him was just like crazy just this like seeing him in person you know I never even seen him in person before it's of course like beating him it was just that was crazy did it he's obviously a boxing fan did, did he know who you were and did that's did what they said but uh, you know, we didn't talk too much because they had a it was a Super Bowl party so he kind of just you know he got in um one of the reporters announced me they they you know that we introduced us and that we kind of just he kind of left out. It was a bunch of people, of course. When it's Tyson, everybody want to get pictures right. with him, you know. So, but I see him again. You brought up the Super Bowl. What do you think about that halftime show? Man, that was fire. That was that was fire. But look, that was fire in in Cali, right? That was good. But we gotta do one. In, we gotta do one in New Orleans. Imagine like Master P and Lil Wayne and Young yes. Boy NBA and Kevin Gates and Boosie and all of. Imagine that. Like we do one in Louisiana, it'll be crazy. But that was like. That was fire, for sure. That was fire. <laughs> uh, Want to get to take on uh, Richard talked about guys moving up from 135. Uh, Teofimo seems like he's moving up. Um, mm -hmm. It's been rumored he's going to fight uh, Barbosa Jr., I believe. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about that fight? And just it, you know, t talk about a, a potential fight between you and Teo. Yeah, I mean, it is great. Look, guess what? We was at the party together too. Me and T was oh, at the really? party. Yeah, we was at the party. It's like I'm seeing all these guys. You know, like when you see him, you like kind of look at them like you. You kind of like size each other up and stuff like that, you know, because um, uh, who was there? Ellie, Ellie was there, and he was, he was like, yeah, these guys might fight each other. So we looking at each other, and we kind of wrestle around with each other and stuff like that. Kind of, you know, you won't, you won't feel, you won't feel how solid they are and stuff, you know. So, I mean, yeah, that'll be, I think that'll be a potential fight one day. How is it coming off to you, man? He's been going through a lot. He, he's been studying his, his his emotions and feelings on social media. It seems like he's going through a very hard time, man. Uh, how do you see him, and, and can you get like any kind of words you want to just send his way? I know that's a big fight. Still, he's a, he's, a, he's a great fighter, great young fighter that people still want to see. Right, right, right. I mean, I mean, he might he might have a lot of stuff going on, man. I mean, I think like the whole thing with you, you start getting famous, and you, you have it's so many people that has access to you, you know, like immediately, like with the social media stuff right now. So people can get on there and write hate, and of course it's. A lot of people say, oh, we don't, I don't watch the comments and stuff, but everybody will, you know, they'll watch the comments, you know, it, it all depends on you and how you react to that, you know, and I think maybe like somebody like him, maybe he doesn't take, he doesn't take it too good, he doesn't take it too well, so, I mean, I would just talk to him, of course, he's like way younger than me, so I mean, I'm, I'm a little old, I'm a little more mature, so I would, of course, just talk to him and be like, man, don't worry about that, keep doing you, worry about your family, and it, like, at the party seemed good, he was like, we was, like, we was, that's what I'm saying. We, we might fight each other, but we was all like dancing with each other and stuff like that at the party, you know. But he was just dancing and having fun, and Jim seemed like it seemed like he was in real nice spirits. And I think I saw a video of him yesterday dancing around at the gym. So it seemed like he's in real good spirits. So I just hope that you know he can continue that. Another guy, um, Ronda Weight class having mental issues, like uh, he came out and said, Ryan Garcia. You know, now he's coming back. It feels like he had coming off a hand surgery as well. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about his fight and? and you know, maybe potential fight with him down the road one day. I, I welcome everybody. You know, I, like That's I said, the beauty. He'll I fight welcome anyone. everybody. I don't care who they are. I welcome everybody. Yeah. You know, like I said, my goal to become a two-time champion in 140. Then once that happens, then you know I will welcome anybody, whoever Ryan, T.O., Tank, um, people that 140, anybody.